Okay, so what we're talking about today is these valves here called thermostatic radiator valves. They're fitted to um, control the flow and temperature of your radiator, of course. Now, from time to time, you would need to take the radiator off. So, in that case, what you would do is screw the head of the valve fully down. That's clockwork, clockwork fully down till it stops. Then you the rad clamps for taking off your radiator. No draining required there. Then you'd be left with this open end here which um, hopefully there will be no water coming out. Now the problem with these is if you leave it like this for too long or overnight or whatever and the temperature drops in the room these are designed to actually open and then it will open while you're not there and all the water will start to come out of here and can actually empty your system all over the floor and cause all the associated damage. So to ensure that doesn't happen we're going to um, fit one of these which is called a, um, a rad valve clamp it's got a soft rubber seal on this side here and how that works you place it over the valve like that and screw it up and compress the seal onto the outlet like that and that will guarantee that nothing will come out so you can rest assured that nothing will come out now some people would say you can use caps on here but uh, you can try that if you like but you get different size threads on here and different sizes anyway and you've got to get a proper seal this is universal and it will fit on any type of outlet on these uh, type of uh, valves now if you wanted to and um, make sure, absolutely sure you can remove the head now how that's done you remove this locking ring or captive ring here just screw it off and then the head will come off and then you've got this pin here and when the pin's fully out, that means it's full flow. And when the pin's compressed down, it stops the flow. And that's all that does. It, um, there's a sensor in here which reacts to temperature. When it expands, it pushes the pin down. When it cools off, it lets the pin up. Very clever device. So we have this other device here, which is called the TRV clamp. Which, how that works, it will positively push that down. So you're not relying on the head and you have a fork on the end here which goes over the pipe. The fork goes underneath the nut and the bolt presses on top. Now we have had it said that that's a bit dodgy because what if it slips off? But if you look on the inside of this here, you can see there it's recessed out to fit neatly so the pin fits neatly into there. So if you wanted to do both you could put that on as well and compress the pin down it doesn't need to go fully down just so you feel the resistance there that now that is pressed and is fully off so you've got two things there you've got the um, TRV clamp there holding the pin down and the rad valve clamp holding uh, completely securing and closing off the outlet so it's what you call belt and braces I suppose there's no way that water is going to come out of there so you can use any of them if you, if you choose but you can use can use them both and you're absolutely guaranteed that there's no water going to come out here so that's just showing you the two types of clamps that we're offering from abd tools and thanks for watching